More than five years ago, I was among a small group of journalists lucky enough to be given a chance to drive Volvo's limited production C30 electric car at the company's winter test facility in Karuna, Sweden, some 90 miles, 145 kilometers, north of the Arctic Circle. As well as being quite a memorable trip, the test drives I had there convinced me that Volvo had what it took to develop its own line of plug-in electric vehicles, complete with triple heating systems designed to ensure winter temperatures and the usually associated range loss weren't a major hurdle for Volvo's customers far and wide. But since then, Volvo has held off bringing an all-electric model to market, deciding instead to focus on plug-in hybrid variants of existing cars, stating a number of reasons for not going down the electric vehicle route. At the top of the list was Volvo's lack of funds. Volvo is a lot smaller as a brand than many of its rival automakers, as well as a worry that it could not produce an uncompromised plug-in model that would be attractive to customers. Consequentially, Volvo decided to focus on plug-in hybrid technology instead, using the through-the-road hybrid drivetrain it developed for the production of Volvo V60 plug-in hybrid to help it launch the range-topping Volvo XC90 T8 plug-in hybrid. That strategy has helped Volvo place electric and electrified vehicle drivetrain technology at the top of its vehicle lineup. In fact, it's made plug-in hybrids halo cars for the brand that not only offer better performance than the rest of the family, but also far better fuel economy too. Earlier last week, Volvo announced that it would be going one step further, fitting traction electric motors to every single vehicle it makes from 2019 onwards. That might seem like something of a left-field announcement, especially considering Volvo's past with electric cars. But an increasing pressure around the world on vehicle emissions and Volvo's parent company Geely keen to expand electric vehicle offerings in China, Volvo's announcement is anything but a surprise for those who've been following the brand. You see, while Volvo has held off making a production vehicle to date, it has always wanted to make its brand electrified. Indeed, way back in 2012, when Volvo started discussing its Vision 2020 plan, a goal to reduce Volvo accident fatalities to zero by 2020, it tagged on zero emissions as a goal for the same time frame. Simply put, Volvo's vision for the future has always been zero emissions and zero fatalities. Of course, it's easy at this point to look at Tesla and note that it seems to have managed just fine, producing safe all-electric vehicles all without the need for an internal combustion engine. In fact, when compared to Tesla, Volvo's plan to make its entire fleet electrified by 2019 may seem like a little bit of a cop-out. Yet, if it meets its goal, Volvo will achieve something rather special. It will be the first traditional automaker to end production vehicles fitted with just an internal combustion engine. And while the internal combustion engine won't be gone completely by 2020, every Volvo made from 2019 onwards will only be available as either an electric vehicle, a plug-in hybrid, or a standard hybrid engine. Given Volvo isn't a particularly large automaker and doesn't have a whole lot of research and development, its switch over to electrified vehicles is quite a good indication of how far electric vehicles have developed in the last decade. Indeed, while other automakers were busy working on limited range electric vehicles, primarily for in-town use, Volvo has always maintained that it would only bring a production electric vehicle to market when it could do so without compromise on range, safety, or user experience. In other words, when making an electric vehicle capable of several hundred miles per charge that could rapid charge to full in a reasonable amount of time and tow was possible without massive financial underwriting. Assuming Volvo has stuck to that original goal, it now appears that that time's arrived, which is good news for not only Volvo, but the whole of the automotive industry. I'm guessing too that the work Volvo Trucks has done on electric buses in recent years which, while a different part of the Volvo family, has probably helped feed back into Volvo's automotive arm, giving it more real-life experience than it once had in electric vehicles. Of course, there are potentially other reasons why Volvo is making the switch when it is. Norway, neighbour to Volvo's home country of Sweden, is seeking to ban the sales of all new cars with just an internal combustion engine from 2025. Given Volvo's popularity in the Scandinavian market overall, it seems a smart choice that Volvo would choose to realign its vehicle lineup 
six years before that ban comes into force. And with other European markets following suit with non-binding yet earnest resolutions, including Germany and France in 2030 and 2040, it really does pay to lead the pack here rather than be rushing to play catch up, especially if you're a small volume automaker like Volvo. Now I've covered the background, what does this announcement really mean, both for the automotive industry and for all of us car buyers? Well, just like any other brand, Volvo has its loyal followers who won't buy anything but a Volvo, and now those customers will get the option to buy electric should they so wish. But more importantly, it will bring yet another high-end brand to market with electric options, something that will not only help electrify the luxury and premium car segment faster than any other car segment out there, and I'll be doing another video on that shortly, but it will also help provide some much needed competition for Tesla, Audi, Porsche, BMW and Mercedes-Benz, all of whom have or are planning to bring luxury electric models to market in the not too distant future. And the more competition there is, the more choice consumers have and the better the prices become between those cars. Is Volvo's announcement a welcome one or is it too little too late? Or do you think that Volvo's step towards becoming a zero emission automaker is one that will help secure the brand's success for many years to come? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this, why not contribute to our running costs via Patreon? I've left a link below and a clickable one at the end of this video. That's it. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow. And until then, keep evolving.